Hi, welcome to a new IT Business Essentials tutorial. My name is Carlos, and today we will talk about multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365 and how to enable it. I would like to start with some updated stats. There is a hacker attack every 39 seconds. 43% of cyber attacks target small business. Since COVID-19, the US FBI reported a 300% increase in reported cyber crimes. 95% of cybersecurity breaches are due to human error. Security should be the number one priority when we are managing Microsoft 365. Multi-factor authentication should be one of the first tasks that we should include in our to-do list when configuring Microsoft 365. If you haven't done yet, let's do it now. Let's jump into our computer and see how it works. We are now in our computer and we have opened our browser and we will go to login.microsoftonline.com to access our admin account. We enter our admin user, which has admin role, and we enter our password. Now we should we should access the admin Microsoft 365 Admin Center by clicking here on the admin icon. We will find different ways or different path to enable multi-factor authentication within Microsoft 365. We will show you a couple of them. You can click on users, active users, and we will find here on the top multi-factor authentication and we will see the list of all the users within Microsoft 365 tenant we will be able to select a specific users to enable multi-factor authentication so we can select the user and then click on enable the other way to access or to enable multi-factor authentication is by accessing Azure Active Directory Clicking here, we are now within Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Then we should click in Azure Active Directory. Now we should look for Properties. And at the bottom of Properties, we will find Manage Security Defaults. We should click on there. And we will be able to enable Security Default. By enabling Security Default, it will enable multi-factor authentication for all users within Microsoft 365 tenant. So we should click on yes, save it, and now all users will have enabled multi-factor authentication. So there are some steps that every user need to follow once the multi-factor authentication has been set. Let's show you here what the user should do. Every user will need to access their account, Microsoft 365 portal. So this will be a test account. And the user will be presented this window where he will be asked to complete certain information. So the user should click on next. The user will be presented with this window, which indicates that he needs to complete uh, two steps. One is using the app and the user will need to download the app in his device, in his mobile phone. And also he will need to complete the email information and a alternate email address that will allow him to use also to receive a code to confirm the authentication. So the user will be able to decide which method he want to use every time that he access his account as indicated here the user will need to download the app on his phone um, we will show you here how it works all the users will need to download the authenticator app the microsoft authenticator app is available for android and ios as well if we see it this is we're looking the phone where the application the app story is already installed if the application is not installed, you will need to go to Play Store 
and search for Authenticator. And you will find it under Microsoft Authenticator, as you can see here. In my case, the application is already installed, but if you want, if it were not installed, you need to download it, install it, and then open it. Then you need to click on Next, and, the, and you will need to read the QR code with the application. From our phone, we will click on Add a Account. We will need to select Work or School Account. We will tap, and we will be able to scan with our phone the QR code. Now the account has been added has been added successfully. We should click on next and it is what we will see in our phone. So we need to approve the access to our account. And now the authenticator is complete. We should click on next and now done. So we are now ready to access our account. We enter our regular password as usual. On our phone, we will see this again. We will need to approve it. And now we have access to our account in Microsoft 365. When multi-factor authentication is enforced for some or all users within Microsoft 365, the users will need to generate what is called a app password for some devices or apps that doesn't support two-step verification. We will show you here how to generate those passwords. The user will need to click on the upper right corner within his account and click on View Account. Then you need to click on Security Info and then you need to click on Add Method. And if you expand this, you will see App Password. By clicking here, you will be able to add then you enter the name of the device or apps just for identification purposes. Let's say, for example, that you need to generate a password for your Mac. Um, let's say that you use, instead of using uh, Outlook, you use Mac Mail. Then you click here and type, for example, Apple Mac Mail. You click on Next. And that will be the password that you will need to use for that specific app or device. So you need to just to copy and paste it on your apps and use that password. It will need to be added just once. Then click on done and that device will be listed here on their app password. It is under the app MacMail. And if you want to delete it in the future because you are not using a, that device anymore, you just delete it and that's it. You can create as many passwords as you need. And this will be only required for those devices or apps that doesn't support two-step verification. With this, we conclude our session today about multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365. If you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, please leave us a comment. If you want to see more videos like this one in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you and we hope to see you in the next time.